do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now holds in Project Phoenix Me. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly burn XGD3 game ISOs, assuming that you have a compatible DVD burner. And we're going to use a program called Burner Max. Basically, it allows you to uh, send this payload and it enables your DVD drive to burn to the full capacity of your blank dual layer verbatims, for example. And you don't have to burn or flash any firmware on your DVD drive. And it's awesome. It should work for a majority of laptop drives and also um, DVD drives for your PC as well. So go to more info section. There's a link to this form where you can download the program, the Burner Max. I'll show you how to use that in a second here. And it has support for a lot of different drives like stock IHAS, B, C, and D drives, uh, burners, light ons, a lot of other models. So just give it a try and maybe your particular model is compatible. So, how does this work? So, what we're going to do is go ahead, download the Burner Max, and just uh, extract it and run it. And I already have a drive. I have an IHAS drive that's already been flashed before when I got it from eBay. But if you have a compatible drive, just go ahead and select your drive. Make sure you insert your blank dual layer DVD disc right now into your drive. And then just click on Burner Max. I already had it as auto, so I already did it when I booted up the program. But we see that it has detected the DVD dual layer plus R. Burner Max is enabled. And it has the full enabled full free space. 8, 7, 3, 8, 8, 9, 7, 9, 20 bytes. That's what you need. If you go to the help section, it sort of reiterates here the instructions of what you need to do. So go ahead, just leave this minimized, for example. Now go ahead, bring up your image burn program. So here it is, the image burn is coming up, coming up, coming up. And then what you want to do is go ahead, click on write image file to disk. Now just for uh, completeness sake, I'm using the MKM-003-00. These are the verbatim disk, dual layer, plus R. And if I go to tools, and if I go to settings, I'll just show you real quickly what my settings are. So just go to right tab and you might want to pause the video just to see what I have selected. I mean, this works for me. I don't have this ch um, checked here. And then I have burn proof enabled. Other people, other tutorials says you got to uncheck this. I don't know if it makes a difference. It worked fine for me. So I'm just going off of my own personal experience. So this is my settings here. And then what you want to do is click on this little gears icon and then go to light on. So here for the different settings, like forced hypertuning is enabled, okay? Um, online hypertuning is disabled, okay? Next one is overspeed, I have it disabled. Smart burn, I have it enabled. And then for clear OPC history, do not clear it. Don't do anything, just leave it alone. And then um, every time you make a change, just make sure you select it down here, select it, whatever, and then click on the change button. So that's how you reinforce a change. And then after that, um, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and select your .dvd file or your ISO file. You select it and then uh, just burn it. And to confirm, um, I'm going to go ahead. Here's my IHAS drive. And yes, here's my full free space of 8738897920. And you can properly burn your XGD3 games. And make sure you use the ABGX tool to stealth them, patch them, and then go ahead and use this payload tool and image burn to burn the ISO and you're ready to have a lot of good times and have no errors and basically have a lot of good times. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.